This is the most popular book swapping website on the internet, but there's one problem with it. It is hideous. It is booty. It is so overwhelming to look at. Look at this. Ask the librarian, live help, browser. What is browser test? Make sure that your browser security is up to date. Why does this website have that? Member savings, $82 million. I don't know how much, how they're calculating that or if this is even a real number. That is so much money. Let's uh, log in. We had 34 million bot attempts to hit our servers in the past five days. This is causing major problems for us. You could really help us by enrolling in a membership. I've signed up and the first thing I see cleaning gel for keyboards. I want books. Fun stuff. What the hell? Sudoku. <laughs> Why do they have this? Want fewer ads, want fewer ads. Yes, the two hallmarks of literature. Books and Sudoku. Let's actually find a book that's interesting. Okay, how do I actually request it? Oh my god, this is... What is library thing? Why can I edit the book data? Poo poo pee pee. Some poor person is actually going to read this and have to see this. Are you sure you want to submit? Yeah, sure. How do I get the book? You have an API. What is this? This is insane. Apparently I can get some CDs too. Oh my God. Is it the same? Is it the same login? Oh my God. You have to make separate accounts for their DVD service, their CD service, and their book service. So why hasn't there been a better version of this? Well, I'll tell you why. Because this guy, the founder, filed a patent for swapping things online with a credit system. But I did some digging and this patent was actually just a continuation of an earlier one that was filed on September 21st, 2004. And I am so petty because I had the same idea back in 2020. I found the patent and set a reminder in my calendar for the week that it expired. And that week was last week. So paperback swap, it is time to modernize you. We're gonna use Next.js. I haven't used it before, but I was in a final round interview and I asked the guy if he had any advice that he wanted to leave me with. And he said, don't stick to what you know, try new things all the time until the end of your career and then the end of your life. We're also gonna try a Tailwind. Tailwind's one of those things that I'm like, this is really overwhelming to read, but gotta do it. And then for our back end, we're gonna use TRPC. The idea for the site is supposed to be pretty simple. You have books on your bookshelf that you've read and you're not gonna read again. Someone else might want that book. And so they request it from you. You get it to them. You get one credit and then you get to request any book that any person has uploaded. Now, let's just get something out of the way. Is this just a library? No. Okay, I have a secret. I've actually been like grinding this out all week since September 21st, and I didn't really record the process. And I'm not gonna pretend to code this in front of you live. You know what? Let's just use it. First of all, we built a way better landing page. Oh my God. Swap the books you finish for the ones you want next. You start with a credit and you earn more when someone requests your book and you send it to them. But the straight up best feature is how you upload books. You know what? Let's list a book on paperback swap. Look at this. <laughs> what the hell? The audio cassette version. Come on. This is crazy. Look at this. Oh God, I want you to see it. I'm kind of doing this in a jank way. Please. Hey, look at that. That's the book. That's the book I'm using. Let's list it. It's one of my listings. Let's go. Isn't that so sick? It's so easy. Alan Turing, The Birth of Computer Science. I read it, it was cool. I, I'm probably never gonna read it again. Oh, so now if we go back to the site and refresh, look at that. Look at all of my listings. Look at them. Oh, look, I have a free credit to claim one of these. Let's say, let's just say, I wanted Shipwreck. I'm gonna request it. Now it's there and it's waiting for Josh to respond. Uh, you know what, Let, let's just go to, so now we have action items at the top that make it very clear what you need to do. Joshi Codes wants to swap for Shipwrecks. Uh, I can accept or decline it. 
Let's accept it. Ah, oh, both users must have addresses on file. God damn it. I was asking for the address when people signed up for generating the shipping label, but it was actually quite annoying. We're gonna do some data surgery. We're gonna go to our database. Uh, don't do this at home, kids. Bam, swap accepted. Now we're waiting for payment, for shipping. I do wanna add in a mode where you could just do it locally if it's nearby, but you know, it's uh, a work in progress. I, I've been working on this for like four to five days. Give me a break. Okay, so we go to our swap. Oh, look at this, branded, same colors. You could even pay in installments. Uh, this is all Stripe, none of this was me. They make it super easy. Okay, and this is all fake stuff, so. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now, processing. And then my server will get a webhook from Stripe that says that this happened. Time to ship. You're sending this book to Joshi in Austin, Texas. All you gotta do is print, package it, attach it, drop it off, and you're good. And then once you do that, you've marked that you've shipped the book, and then We got that iOS 26 liquid glass vibe going on, my God. But here's the situation, most of it works, but this wouldn't be complete without this one feature. I hate this book. This is one of the worst books I've ever read. It is over 1,100 pages. I probably read like 2,000 pages in my life, and most of them were dedicated to this piece of poo-poo. So, because I can add anything. If anyone tries to upload this book, this book is bad. I'm sorry that you had to read it, but do not spam my beautiful application with it. I will ban 